gastroesophageal reflux disease. GERD is a very common disease. It is thought to be present in 30, 40 million Americans. It used to be thought that a, a couple of uh, Prilosec a day would control this disease 100%, but it, it doesn't. People are still significantly impacted, miserable even. Difficulty sleeping affecting their job is a big quality of life trigger for many patients thinking about how can I possibly take care of this problem. So I see patients very commonly who come because they've started to have other symptoms. Their heartburn may be well controlled with the medicines, but they wake up at night coughing or choking. The normal human body has a barrier between your stomach and your esophagus. The lower esophageal sphincter, or the valve at the other end of the esophagus, kind of like a sphincter at your mouth, that normally keeps acid out of the esophagus. The barrier breaks down is the fundamental problem. The sphincter gets weaker and weaker and shorter. Um, it's associated with being overweight, not necessarily even obese, but just a little bit overweight. And it's also associated with hiatal hernias. Your stomach has strong enough acid that it would burn your, your hand. So if the acid gets into the esophagus, it's a problem. The medicines change the chemistry of it, take the sting out of the acid. The medicines don't change the actual physical reflux of fluid from the stomach up into the esophagus. The barrier breaks down, you start to get acid in your esophagus, and that causes symptoms in about half the people and damage to the esophagus in the other half. We call that esophagitis. A change in the lining of the esophagus, from the normal lining that's more like your skin to something that's more like your tongue or your stomach, which is called Barrett's esophagus. And even cancer of the esophagus, as you know, is a manifestation of acid reflux disease. Now that's you know, not to um, scare people, those are uncommon manifestations, but they're common enough that it's, it's um, something that ought to be thought of, particularly on the physician side. This disease is not even theoretically controllable by the individual. It's a lifelong problem unless it's surgically corrected. Once you have reflux disease, it isn't going away. It's not like an ulcer which you can heal. And this new device is a ring of magnets, engineered to be just strong enough to be closed when a person's not eating and open when you're swallowing liquid or solids. It's an artificial lower esophageal sphincter. It goes around the lower esophagus and it's a ring of somewhere between 12 and 14 little magnets, each one a little bit bigger than a bead. This device is uh, placed in a 45 minute to two hour operation that is uh, done with minimally invasive techniques under general anesthesia. A couple days recovery usually and um, uh, a week or two off work. The best we know right now with uh, four or 500 patients treated worldwide, it works, it works very well. We're targeting the 20 to 30% of the patients on uh, prescription medicines with acid reflux disease who have persistent symptoms or have enough symptoms that they're still bothered by it. A very large hiatal hernia or Barrett's esophagus right now is a population that we're largely excluding. We're beginning to approach the safety of drug therapy, where medicines certainly have their side effects and their potential complications, uh, particularly on a large scale. And where in years past we were comparing apples and oranges when we compared surgery to medicines, it's now getting surgeries getting safe enough. I don't want to overstate the safety of surgery, but it's getting safe enough to where we're comparing apples and apples now, not so much apples and oranges.